Hello family, it's nice to be together again. In today's video I'm gonna get rid of your lack. Yes! 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 Having a potato device sucks. I totally understand that. While some are playing, enjoying the game and earning kills. Some are wondering how they can get the best gaming experience possible. While you are FPS, also known as frame rate per seconds, and MS also known as milliseconds or ping. Play a big role in giving the best gaming experience. As it can affect a player's reaction time and aim ability. If you want to make the best of your gaming time then don't worry. Here I will show you how to increase the FPS and MS in the game. But before that, I hope you smash the like button cause I'm hoping for a new record. 100 likes, yes I trust the family and I also trust the visitors on my channel to help me achieve this. Anyways how to increase FPS. There are two ways to increase your FPS. Not only does FPS make your gaming experience better, but it also increases resolution quality and many things. It could affect the performance of a low-end device, its RAM and graphics. Firstly I will share the best FPS settings for zero lag gaming. The best FPS settings for low-end device holders depends on how much your device can take. However, many gamers and game enthusiasts suggest using 60 FPS on smooth graphics so to have the best gaming experience. Here is one of the best FPS settings. For the graphics you'll have to leave it on smooth. Farlight is a beautiful game. It's high detailing and enhanced color display. It amuses me how this game can even run on mobile devices. Wanting to enjoy the game at extreme graphics can be tempting especially in a game like Farlight, but for low-end devices, this can cause lag. Yes I know, you want to enjoy the experience. That the main aim of the game actually is just to kill players and win a match. So just make a little sacrifice, the family sympathizes with you. Now for the frame rate. You should know all the frame rate settings give different FPS. Low gives 20 FPS. Medium gives 25 FPS. High gives 30 FPS. Very high gives 40 FPS. Extreme gives 60 FPS. So you must check the highest your phone can offer. If it doesn't offer at least high, then throw your potato device out the window. What? Yes, it's useless. What the fuck? Disable this resolution thing cause it does nothing but causes lag for low-end devices. Now if you're playing on a 4GB RAM phone, uh, but it's a potato. your game would not run on the best FPS, but to have it run at least 30 FPS, follow my few steps. Clear your storage before playing the game. Having big files on your device will for sure cause a rendering problem which will cause lag for sure. As low-end devices don't have high storage. Step 2. Clear your RAM. To get a smooth gaming experience, you'll have to clear background apps. It will help the game have more memory. For as you're playing it saving data and clearing your RAM will give it enough space for that. Battery optimization. Battery optimization settings are enabled on Android phones to reduce the game performance for saving battery. Farlight 80 for Android players need to turn it off in battery settings on their respective devices. And don't be ashamed of playing on Android or a potato device. I use both of them, so you're not alone. These are a few tips to enjoy a zero lag free game. 100 likes is possible. Yes, I haven't forgotten. Smash that like button and don't forget to leave a comment about what seems so hard for you in the game. And I'll make a video to solve your problem. Thank you for joining the family gathering. I'll see you awesome people in the next one. Enjoy my bot gameplay.